Good morning, peace and blessings. Happy Saturday. You guys, I have been <laughs> out of sorts. I feel like it's the Mercury retrograde stuff, but I just want to acknowledge that I just feel like kooky and cranky. And, um, and so one of the things that I do is I drink a lot of watermelon water. My partner, Gabrielle, if you guys done any of the retrograde Any of the retrograde rituals with me, you have experienced Gabrielle. I always bring people to come in, but just getting into the energy, like there's all this energy moving on the planet right now because of we're in this new age of Aquarius and it is asking us to let go of the old paradigm. <laughs> and so sometimes that makes me feel disoriented as I really let go of my old way of thinking my old way of behavior, my old way of um, living, right? It's just, sometimes I look around and I go, the only thing that I recognize is these four walls because I don't recognize myself, all my relationships have changed and my life is different. And so this is disorienting a little bit. So today is a Saturn day. Saturn is the day that governs, Saturn is the planet that rules this earth realm, right? It's Saturn is, it's such a fun thing. It's like cause and effect. That's it. What you put out, you get back. That is not a negative thing. That's just the way of it. When you breathe, you breathe out, you take in the breath. That's just the way that things function. The tide, it comes up and it goes back. So everything here is cause and effect because you're always going to retrace your steps in some way. So, you know, what you gave out, then you it comes back, but then you go back there again. And so then you experience your creation. So Saturn, Saturn is karma, time, cause and effect. It's the masculine principle because what? It's, it's how we build the earth realm and the masculine really does dominate the earth realm. The feminine dominates the internal, but the masculine dominates the external. So this cause and effect is, you know, how are you using your time? What are you, where are you putting your energy? You know, what are you doing with your talents? All of that is Saturn. So I'm currently offering a Saturn in retrograde class, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius, because Aquarius is your vision. What are you here to do? What are you fucking up to, right? Like every day when I wake up, I ask myself, what the fuck are you doing today? <laughs> like, what are you, what are you doing with your time? I remember when my son went to live with his father and I had been really depressed and struggling because I was trying to get my son into a Waldorf school and I found out that they were full of shit <laughs> to me, right? Maybe not for everybody else, but I really wanted to get my son in an environment where he could be himself and flourish. And when we got there, they were like, oh, he's going to lose his services. And we were like, we don't care about his services. If we can be in this environment, we will supplement his services in a new way. And they just weren't willing to do that. And that, that felt really... It, I felt rejected, and so that's what I mean when I say they were full of shit. Maybe they weren't, because um, things are always perfect. But I, when, so my my son's father came to me one day. He was like, you're not yourself. You're depressed, and we need to figure this out, because if you're not right, nobody's right. And he said to me, let me take our son, and you go do your thing. Go work. Go do what you need to do. It took me a year to say yes to that. But after that, when he, when my son went to go, when our son went to go live with his dad, his dad, I was so clear, like, oh, you have this time. What the fuck are you going to do with it? Like, what are you doing with your time? And that is what Saturn and Aquarius is. Like, what's your vision? What's your life about? What are you up to? Right. And, and we need to use this time like it matters. We need to use this life like it matters. So, you know, what are the things that you really value? And this class that I'm doing with Saturn and Aquarius is helping you remove your blocks, remove the things that would have you thinking that you should be wasting your time on things that don't matter. You should be, you know, doing things that help you fit in and all that sort of stuff. No, what you're really here to do is bring forth the vision within you. You're here to connect with other people who have similar mindsets, who have similar ideas and similar perspectives so that you can build together, right? So that you can create a new world together. We're here to build a new earth at this time on the planet. And 
that is happening whether we like it or not, whether we're participating in it or not, it's what it is. <laughs> and so Saturn in Aquarius is saying, what's your true identity? What are you really up to? So if you want to sign up for this class, you can in my link tree. This class is going to be going on until like October 7th. So it's the rituals. It's the um, just the the process to get you thinking about where you've been letting that stuff go and who you're becoming and the rituals to move you internally into a greater process of being true to yourself because it, you have to learn how to listen to yourself. You have to learn how to question yourself. You have to learn how to encourage yourself in a new way. So Saturn in Aquarius is asking you to focus on your vision Saturn once ruled Aquarius and Aquarius is about the mind of God. It's literally, you know, what it's like your creator, right? You are the mind of God means that your mind is a creative thing. Your mind is creative in all ways because what is God? God is the creator. So the mind of God is creative at its core. So you are creating with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your choices with your actions move it my you are creating all the time so um look today at this energy it's saturn at the 12th degree of aquarius the 12th degree is creative right creativity so you want to be thinking about what are you focusing what is your mind focusing on to create so one of the things that i've been doing i always do these sort of things but you know so we just had a full moon in Aquarius and a full moon. I'm sorry, we had a full moon in Capricorn. So I charge my crystals to help me stay focused. So like this is adventuring. Hot move, go. Um, this is blue tiger's eye. Um, this is um, peach moonstone. This is red calcite. And I've been charging them in the full moon. This is bloodstone. Um, this is rhodiite. I can't say the name of it easily, but it's this is um, calcite, gold and honey calcite. This is malachite. And I charge these stones because they help me focus my energy. This is eukite. And this is carnelian. They help me focus my energy so that I can really focus on me and what I'm up to and ask myself deeper questions like, what is the value of this thought I'm thinking? And where is this leading me? And is this in alignment with what it is that I'm here to do? And, you know, am I like really getting my energy going in one direction towards my vision? And I've been doing this since I was three years old, right? When I was pregnant and I couldn't focus on my vision and what I was up to. And I didn't even know what it really fully was, but I always knew that I was up to something. So I would I would sit down and hold light in my heart for what my vision was. I was pregnant. I, I'd had a child. No, I wasn't pregnant. I'd had a child who the doctors were diagnosed with Down syndrome and my marriage was challenged and I just would focus. I was like, I don't know what I'm up to, but I'm gonna focus to the best of my ability. I'm gonna focus on doing something that matters to me. I'm gonna focus on being something that adds a benefit to my community and to the world. I'm gonna focus on really, you know, challenging myself to let go of the old way. And I would just do it for like 30 seconds. And then I would get up and go take care of my baby <laughs> and figure it out, you know, go to hearing appointments and all these things that would take up all my time. But I would spend 30 seconds focusing on my vision. So. Um, I encourage you to do that, like get clear about what you're up to. And if you need some support, you can do a reading with me. You can sign up for the Saturn and retrograde class. And this stuff will help you get clear. The moon today is in the first degree of Aquarius, right? Right back to the mind of God. What are you up to? What are you focusing on? And also, who are the people that are joining you? What's your community? You know, who are the people that have the same mindset, who want to build a new earth, who want to do things differently, who are about taking on the old paradigm and breaking that motherfucker down and building up something new? Who are the people that you are aligned with, right? And if you don't have people that are supporting you, that are reminding you, when you look to the left and you look to the right or you look in front of you or behind you, people who are going in the same direction, your chance of failure is almost <laughs> destined, right? Because here's the thing about Aquarius. It's not about... Um, 
it's not about being overly associated with folks, but it is about the vision and humanitarian efforts that are getting us into a better place. And that better place is the age of Aquarius. So you wanna be aligning yourself with people who are about that thing, who are about what you're up to. I talk to people all the time who have visions for working with women and children and doing really new, innovative things. That's what Aquarius is about. All this old shit that we've been doing, all this marching and protesting, that shit is over with. Like, I want y'all to know one thing, right? These race, race conversations and experiences that we're having in this country, in a hundred years, we almost won't remember them because we are evolving so rapidly as humans right now. It will vanish. It will go away. It will get smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, I'm a history person. I love history. And I study cultures that no one ever remembers anymore. Like, I want you to know that there are, we have been on this planet for billions of years and there are people, there are cultures that we don't remember, that we don't know their names, that we don't know what was going on with them. That could come of America, right? So the I'm saying all that to say is, you know, like don't get too locked down in this old bullshit that's America and race and uh, it's 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 dissolving. Like, so if your mind is so focused on that, like if your mind is pent in it, like out, eh, no, like see for what it is and then get yourself moving forward into a new direction because that's what's going on right now. So the moon in Aquarius, when I looked, it was at the first degree. That's innocence, right? So this is like your pure blueprint. What are you here to do? What did you agree to do with the divine? When you were in the ethers before you got here, you made some sort of agreement. You signed up for something and that's inside of you. That is in your records, in your psyche. And you, it is your responsibility to cultivate it, to ask yourself the questions and to remember. And when you do that, the universe will conspire to support you in every way possible. In every way possible, the doors will open, but you gotta get clear about what you're up to. So with that, I'm the Moon Mama. Peace and blessings. Happy Saturday. See, she just bought me a toy. She just, you come, you wanna do it? Look it, she gonna, I'ma throw it. Woo! <laughs> okay, you all. Peace and blessings. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.